right, all right, all right. <coughs> hey, everyone. Um, I'm just coming out just to give some thanks to some good people who's been like a motivation towards me in my life. I ain't going to lie. I just thank everybody for what they have done for me. I mainly thank God for being the biggest motivation of all time. Even though I went through my trials and tribulations, I still get thanks. Even though some of them hurt me, but it made me a better person each day. I give thanks to my dad. Even though I sometimes still hate his guts for not being the best father in my life. I ain't gonna lie. I can admit, he was an awesome dad. He did the best job he could, showing me how to be a businessman as well as a good man, as well as working towards my manhood as a young man, at a young age. I give thanks to my mama, even though we act like freaking twins because our birthday is right next to each other. <laughs> I swear, we bump heads so much, it's ridiculous. And, uh, and I thank her for everything, for helping me with my accomplishments, helping me with motivate me to do something successful with my life and try to live on my own and work towards my goals. Um, I'm going to also give thanks to one of my best friends, um, Derek Snow, because he's been like a good motivation since high school from wrestling. From us like hanging out because our moms used to work together and all that. But not only that, with his music, his swag, his talent, even though I hated that his swag was defining how he is and how he does his life, it was a motivation. I give him that. I give my props to Brandon Dunn for being a good friend throughout high school. He's been my giant, my homie, and my basic good friend. Like, can't nobody take him out of my life because he's been like the best coach ever. He's been helping me out with my driver's lessons as well as doing good on my workouts to get better and stronger. Shoot, if I was to get married, shit, I know he'd be my right hand man who I'll call on before anybody. But same token, my homie Derek Snow as well. All day, like, both of them are the best good friends I had. I give props to my three best cousins, John King, Chris Cook, and Philip Dunn. They all been a good motivation to me. John had my back since we was little kids and never did give up on me or let people, when they said, forget me in life, like, make you feel like, ugh, you ain't worth shit. He actually stuck by my side. I thank my two cousins, Chris and Fuller, for sticking by my side. I thank them for being the motivation for me being an athlete, running track, going to cross country, being a wrestler, and all that. Shoot. I did so much sports, I looked like an athletic crackhead half the dang time. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> but, I ain't gonna lie. Me, Chris and Fuller, we all some big party animals and some big goofballs all day. We keep the club hype when we have fun and not have it stale like a bag of chips. But, also, I want to give props to one young lady who I dearly love and I really do care about and I still wear her ring around my necklace I give props to Ashton Simone Young even though I do hate your guts for juggling me around and I'm not gonna lie I do hate your guts and for basically not communicating with me as we used to and basically making me feel like I'm useless sometimes and nothing but a good provider. I still thank you. I still love you. I still care about you. I thank you for being the best motivation in my life. Ashton, if I could say this in your face, I would. I love you for being my motivation. I love you for being my woman at the times we could be. Boyfriend and girlfriend, I thank you for motivating me to want to graduate out of college. Go to UMSO and actually achieve something. Actually go and get my driver's license. Work towards getting my own car, my own place, and everything. You've been a motivation. You've been like the biggest love piece in my life. If I could actually sit down and tell you this, I would never want to lose you as a friend, as a person, 
as anything because you have been the best thing of my life that I actually love. Even though it's been short term and we ain't really had a chance to connect and have fun outside of a house or anything, I actually say, I thank you. And plus that fun time at IHOP with us laughing all the time, you've been a motivation. You've been my biggest determination towards me gaining more dominance, more determination for myself. So I thank you, Aston Small Young, for everything you have done. And I love you dearly with your crazy, goofy ass and shit. And I hope that we still friends. I hope we still talk again. But on that note, back to other people. I give props to Deacon Smiley for teaching me how to be a good man, a positive motivator, as well as a good person overall. I give props to my uncle, aka 007, Mr. Batman, Jeffrey Cook. <laughs> He's been a good gentleman in my life. He's been like a father figure, a military man, as well as he was bold as hell. Even though both of them now are up there with God, I thank them both for the time that they had here on this earth to share how to be a man, how to be a good person, how to still have a determined heart and not fear, not fear that you can respect love and do something good and positive with your life like man if I could sit down and draw all these people together as one I would love them as my family I thank you all I thank you Aston I thank you Kariah I thank you Uncle Jeffrey I thank you Deacon Smiley Kariah I thank your family for teaching me love respect and how to be a good family I need you I thank you for being one of the goofiest people I ever dated and actually made me see what it's like to actually have a successful relationship. Ashton, I'm going to thank you again for a lot, for motivating me on a lot of things, for being something great and successful. Like right now, I'm just talking in progress, but hey, that's just me being real from the heart and from the soul. Everybody, I thank y'all, love y'all, people who I didn't shout out to for being my motivation. I'm sorry, but I'm going to tell, tell it real quick for some of the people. I thank you, Miss Angie, for being a good motivation and communicating with me, giving me advice on stuff, even though you didn't have to. I thank you, uh, <laughs> I thank you, Miss Minister Raphael. I thank you and your husband for being a good motivation and man having an awesome restaurant when, back when I was younger before y'all had to close it down that was awesome I thank my grandma Joanne Cook aka Joanne Bond <laughs> whichever name you want to go with for being the best grandmother slash mother towards me and to allow me to live under her and be under her roof even throughout all my trials and tribulations I went through from a coma a kidney failure and more I thank her. Shoot, sure. without the power of God, I don't think any of y'all people would be a part of my life and I wouldn't be able to see this. So I thank you, love y'all. Down by the I end of the song. Too. Seem like the whole city go against me. Every time I'm in the street, I hear Yak, 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 Yak. Man down, where you from?